sure most of you guys know exactly what a duck under is, but we're gonna make it 10 times better by adding a throw at the end of it. I'm gonna break down exactly how to do that in this video. So first, in order to do this, you have to know how to do a duck. So duck is basically, you disappear from under the guy. Most times you see people drop to one knee, like you see right here. This is the perfect duck that Jay Ayala did at the U23 World Championships against, some, against a Russian guy. Ideally, what you want in the duck is you duck under him, your head beats the armpit, and the guy just falls forward in front of you. That's exactly what you're looking for. As you can see, his hands, like he's going to catch himself, it makes for an easy two point. That's why the move is so slick. But now we have to see what happens when the guy doesn't just fall over, right? He has some balance, he has good core strength, he was anticipating it. So let's see what you can do if he doesn't just automatically fall over. This first clip is Mark Hall of Penn State and All-American Hunter Bowling from Virginia Tech. Now, first things first. Typically, you'll see people do ducks from elbow control. The reason why I pointed at the wrist because Hunter Bowling actually has control of Mark Hall's wrist. When I was in high school, I preferred to duck under when the guy has my wrist. Only reason that is because I noticed that when he was grabbing my own wrist, that he was a lot more loose with his own arm versus when I had wrist control over his wrist, they would tuck their elbow into their side and be more tight with it and it'd be harder to duck. Mark Hall switches head control. So you would notice that his head was actually on the same side as the elbow control tie. Typically you want your head to be on the opposite side. So right before he does it, he switches it over. Typical. Mark Hall head is behind his armpit, and he does a typical one knee drop. Hunter Bowling doesn't actually fall over, so Mark and he actually steps back. So Mark Hall comes up to his feet and actually gets a headlock. Steps through, pivot his hips, straight down to the mat. One more time in slow motion, just for you guys to see it all the way through. The next clip is of another Penn State match. This was like the original duck on the to a throw. This match is between two All-Americans. First things first, you see your forehead to forehead, but you will notice that the Lehigh guy has inside control, giving Alton, the Penn State guy, elbow control. He ducks. Typical knee drop on the opposite side. You don't see it on the opposite side. His head is beat, beats the um, guy's armpits. Now, Dylan, the Lehigh guy doesn't just fall over. So what you see is he actually has his balance a little bit. So Dylan Alton just goes up straight to a headlock. Pivots his hips. Throws him in the headlock. Ends up getting the pin. This clip is actually of Yugayev of Russia. He's a world champ in 2021 or 2020, whichever one you prefer, Olympic champ. But this is his first world title in 2019. He's down 3-0 with just over a minute left to go. So that lets you know the level of competition that he was dealing with in this match. Now he doesn't go headlock, he goes straight to body lock. Typical spot you see, his head behind his opponent's armpits. That's something that you'll see in most duck unders. Now he goes straight up body lock. He could have got four, but the guy was really good. He turned his hips to the mat so he wouldn't give up the feet to back, and he only ended up getting two, but he did end up winning this match. This one you'll see, we'll do two clips of Kyle Crutchmer. He was a two-time All-American for Oklahoma State. He now fights in MMA. This is the All-American match, the seventh-place match. Fun fact about this match, I know it looks like a seven-seed versus an unseeded guy, but actually, this was a first-round or second-round match, and Rezador is the person who actually beat Crutchmer to send him into Constellations. Nice 
Crush him does it the same as that way both times he does it. So first, he has elbow slash tricep control, as you can see. And just like we saw in the Mark Hall clip, Rezidori has his wrist. And his head is on the opposite side of the elbow control. He ducks to the elbow control side. He drops to one knee. And his head beats the armpit. Rezidori turns around. Crutchman stands up, locks his wrist. Now, Crutchman doesn't step through. He kind of sags when he does it. He just sags the guy to the ground after he locks up the headlock grip. Now, this is at the grapple or the grid iron. It's a huge duel every year between Iowa and Oklahoma State. They don't do it outside anymore, but they used to do that. It was pretty cool. Now, this is against All-American Alex Meyer, which is one of the only guys to beat Mark Hall in college. So, as you can see, he has elbow slash tricep control right here. The reason why I point the arrow towards Alex Meyer's hand shows that neither guy has any type of wrist control when he does it this time. As you can see, the typical one knee drop and Crutchmer's head beats Meyer's armpit. Meyer turns out, doesn't fall through. Crutchmer stands up, gets the headlock grip, wraps it up. Now this next clip is going to be of Peyton Omania, Omania of Michigan State. He's actually a senior world team Greco member at the 2021 World Championships at 67 kilograms. So this guy's a big grower. But he got fancy on us. Everybody else has been doing headlocks. He wanted to go lat drop. So look at the grip. Again, the opposite guy who's getting a move hit against him has his opponent's wrist. Also, Armani's head is on the opposite side of the elbow control. And you can see him go for elbow side tricep control. He ducks opposite side. Knee drops. Head beats the armpit. Typical for most of these ducks. The guy doesn't fall. Now, besides going headlock, he just locks his hand in the over under position and goes to body lock. Goes around. And then just hits a, a full lat drop. And this is at the Big Ten Championships, guys. This next clip, the last clip we're going to be going over is of also Peyton Omania at the Big Ten Championships. I wanted to show this one because the duck on the didn't even work. He, just, he got completely stuffed on his duck attempt. And besides his restarting, he just went for the headlock. So he tries to go duck. His head is not being any armpit at all. His arm is caught. And he decides to just, well, I'm going to, I'm going to throw you anyway. So there you have it, guys. You guys know, if you guys have been watching my other videos, I am obsessed with second moves. The reason why I like second moves so much is because the defensive guy is so focused on defending the first move. And they're still in that process a lot of, a lot of the times. That they're not even thinking anything else is coming. It's it's the perfect chain wrestling, right? So, and to think that you go from a basic takedown to okay, I'm just gonna pin it, go ahead and pin this guy or get five, six points. That's a huge jump, especially because this move only works on guys who do what they're supposed to do when somebody tries to duck them. Right? An easy guy, most of the time, he's gonna be able to duck really easy and he's not gonna put up much of a fight. But these are against good guys. That's why I included the clip that I included. Just show you guys that you can still do this move against quality competition.